Today I will be showcasing how to use the Shining Force 3 save points, how to sync up the game so when you're in scenario 2 you can carry over scenario 1 and when you're in scenario 3 you can carry over scenario 2. So because there's many different save points in the game so it's very important to carry those over. The reason why I'm doing this video is because on the internet there's very few information. I think people physically want to see how it's done. So this is using a Mac Open MU Manafin. So as you can see, we're here in scenario one. Let's open. Translation project. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have a completed game. So here it says complete, as you see on the right side, it says level 25 complete. As you can see we saved it to the cart or system memory, doesn't matter either or, you can save it. First you want to locate where your save files are. What you want to do is right click here, show in finder, and make sure that the view is on the third one over here, because if it's like this, then you don't really know where anything is. But this will tell you exactly where it is, and this is the same for all Macs. It's going to be under your Macintosh user, your name, your library, application support, open MU, game library, ROMs, Sega Saturn. We need to locate the saves. So open up Manafin. Now I already opened up the battery saves folder. As you can see, I have a lot of just saves. None of these have actually played any of the games or Sunny Force. So, me personally, I'm just going to delete them right now because I don't need them. It's not like I saved anything on these games. Just as easy to work with. So now you have Scenario 1, 2, 3, and the Premium Disc. Again, I haven't touched these yet, so I want to delete it. So the first thing you want to do is open up Scenario 2 by itself. And once you open it, it's going to generate these three files. So if you don't have this, you haven't opened up Scenario 2 yet, open it. Make sure it generates these three files. So now we have the files for Scenario 1 and for Scenario 2. So we don't need the files for Scenario 2 at all because these are just the names. We only want the name. That's what's important here. Because this has a completed game save already. So what you want to do is you want to copy the name. But first what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't lose these. So you want to do is you want to duplicate it. So the name is the same except for it says dot copy. So you want to take that out. There's a space there, make sure there's no space. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it scenario 21 just so I know it's a duplicate file I gotta change it back later so the BCR is already copied of scenario 1 let's copy the BKR duplicate copy delete the word copy and the space and then scenario 21. The last file I want to duplicate is the SMPC. Delete the copy. Scenario 21. Okay, so. These are our original scenario ones. This is scenario two, we just need the name. And these are our duplicates, which is scenario 21 at the moment. So we just want to copy and paste the name and that's it. So you copy it. Now, if you stop right here, it's gonna give you this error. 
you can't have the same names, right? Copy. Scenario 21. BRC. Now let's copy the BRK. Again, scenario 21. Now we're going to copy the SMP. SMPC. Copy. Paste it. And scenario 21. So this is what we need, but we just get rid of scenario two completely because again we just wanted the name. That's what we wanted. We want the data. Move to trash. And now obviously this won't run if you put scenario 21. So take out the one. That's it. Take out the one. And take out the one. That way your scenario one is still good. And now this is for your scenario two. Now what you want to do is close out of open MU. Open up again. Open up scenario two. No, we'll start fresh. This will work the same for scenario three and the premium disc. We want to press begin, and this is what you, when you see this, you're set. Would you like to continue from scenario one? Yes. And then that's our save file, complete. Now if you did it wrong, you don't have this option. It would say fade, just one hero. We're so far behind, so that means that it's just saying you only play scenario two, you didn't play scenario one. So let's say if you got the secret characters, or if you manage to save some of the people you're supposed to save, they won't be there. So you want the best way to play Shining Force 3 is to have your sync points. Whether you got everything or not, at least it's your file, not just the default file that you're going to play. So Scenario 2. I'd like to thank the Shining Force Translation Project and everyone from Reddit and YouTube who helped me get this far. I've always wanted to play this, especially the sync points. So that's why I didn't want to play this at first, because I was wondering well, what if I play the whole game and it doesn't sync? And what happened? It didn't sync because I didn't rename the files. But uh, luckily, I was able to figure it out. So hopefully, this helps you. Because me, I, I didn't want to do it because I'm a visual guy. So that's why I did this video is to help other people. Hopefully, we get more people to play Shining Force 3.